on the couch tonight a celebrity couple. Yes. <laughs> Who is it? I don't know. We were to make them <laughs> <laughs> it sparks flew backstage. <laughs> it's incredible. And it was John and Emily. Not just a couple, they're married. <laughs> and are you like Brangelina or, you know, Benifer or well, we were Jedward? Sort of, no, our, our uh, name is uh, Crunt, yep. we've decided. <laughs> I we, see how you got there, I'm not sure why. Yeah, there was That's one quick. Tinsky. Yeah. It just seemed, seemed, you know, long and long, long winded. So Crunt felt efficient and sort of. <laughs> Do you use Crunt a lot? <laughs> Every restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your one in the back available for Crunt? <laughs> yeah. We sometimes send out Christmas cards like, Christmas with the Crunts, come and have a drink. <laughs> You do the traditional uh, pouring the pint of Guinness. Well, we were shooting at this uh, pub and, and they asked me to pour a pint of Guinness and I thought, this is going to be amazing and I'm going to crush it. Didn't at all. <laughs> so there was a crowd of people who were actually in the pub. I think our movie was very tiny, so there was no sort of locking down of sets. We were just there, <laughs> yeah. you know, and people were there. <laughs> free for all. Free for all. <laughs> and so there was a crowd of people watching me pour the pint who were very uproarious at first and they were just like cheering and then as the pint just turned to, into a pint of foam, <laughs> it just it just kind of dwindled to nothing. I think we've got a picture <laughs> of the pint. Yeah. Foam. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, is, that is sacrilege. <laughs> and also, <laughs> there's a great... I, I'm going to big up, there's an Instagram account called Shit London Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, some, some legend. I think he's from Cork or something, and he, he basically people put, send him in these awful, <laughs> notoriously terrible Guinness here in London. And, um, you know, it's like no head at all, loads of head. <laughs> like, sometimes a Guinness, uh, a pint of Guinness in, a, like, a Heineken glass, like, sacrilege. Ooh, dreadful. Sacrilege. But that would be straight on there, yeah. <laughs> it could be a celebrity special. I wasn't there to oversee that. That's terrible. It was really bad. Even Christopher Walken was like, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you get that so wrong? <laughs> Well, I, d I thought I was doing all right. And was, I think it's the mm. angle. Of yes, it the I think it's the it. angle. And maybe too much gas in the pipe. Too much too gas, much gas in, the in the pipe. Just like Jamie Dornan. Good, it worked, right? It, it was worked funny. great. It was funny, it yeah, it was funny. Great. That was funny. <laughs> it, is it true that Emily Blunt did break your spirit? <laughs> particularly no. hard was, day, I will say. No. It was a very hard day. It was, we were the drop ship. No, she didn't break my spirit. But there was that moment you, where you I went. Basically, we're in this drop ship set. I don't know if you guys, if you've seen the trailer, we're being dropped out of this ship in our exosuits, and it was a tiny set. They'd made the set really small. It was kind of like as big as a sardine can, and we're all in there. It's so hot in there. There's no air in there. Camera crew are, like, bumping into us, and... We're hanging in the exosuits and harnesses, so like the entire weight of you and your suit is like on your groin, and like people are miserable. People are just like hanging like this, just waiting for them to do <laughs> the action. And, and Tom, um, that insatiable positivity, I can just see it <laughs> just starting to unravel. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was pouring with sweat. I remember looking at him, and he was like, "Guys, please, please roll, <laughs> please roll." And I just looked at him, and I just went, oh, "This." sucks like that. And he looked at me and he goes, it's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and I, went, I thought, because you know what? <laughs> if I start complaining, it's on. If yeah. I start going yeah. down, it's on. Yeah. And I went, Tom, it sucks. <laughs> and he went, okay. <laughs> Obviously, Lovely that Emily wants to be in the film. Absolutely. But yeah. as a director, is it then weird giving your life partner notes? It, it was weird because I was very nervous about it, to be honest. I think we both were. Yeah. Before we started shooting, she said, are you nervous? And I said, I'm terrified. And she said, oh, good, me too. Um, I think it's one of those things where people think because we're both in the same business, we have the same experiences. But I've actually never been on set with her, seen how she worked. I'd heard she was a diva, and I just... <laughs> <laughs> Like, can't get Emily out of her trailer, <laughs> stuff like yeah. that. It's like, ugh. And um, no, but it, I think what it was is, and it, it sounds really sappy, but it's true. I think it's the greatest collaboration I've ever had in my career. I, I've never seen her work. And when you are actually in the room and she does what she does, it honestly, it changes the air in the room. Everyone is just completely and totally stunned by what she does. Oh, that's you see lovely. how, but I just young. to learn early on in our oh, that's relationship true. was that 
British people are notoriously terrible at taking compliments. Would you agree? Just like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of like, hey, we stop talking. Like, oh, that's that's actually what she did. The first time I was like, so I just want to get out of the way. I'm a huge fan of yours, and she. Uh, went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you found this, but I'm amazed when you're told that the set is going to be a closed set. Yes. Right. You know, which means that only limited amount of people necessary for the shot are going to be on set. It's, it's amazing how many necessary yes. people are yes. having a look. And I had to do a scene in that film where I stood by a window completely naked, and then I looked down and all the crew were like, Yeah! <laughs> 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 Yeah. And of course now, I suppose, there'll be a whole new generation of, of kids who fall in love with this uh, Mary Poppins. And so, Emily, how are your kids, how are they with it? Well, I think, um, I mean, my youngest, my two-year-old, has a sort of attention span of a uh, fly, so she watches the trailer, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Hazel, who's almost five, has seen it and just absolutely loved it and sort of wants to talk about it all the time now. And yeah, it's, it's that, just really it weird. Be, uh, if it's five, really strange. your mother's Mary Poppins. No, but I don't think she's see. I think she just thinks it's normal. She's like, well, that's what this is what Sonny's mummy does, and this is what my mummy does. You know, it's just sort of like quite conversational for her. Is it going to help or hinder discipline at home? Oh, hinder. Really? Yeah, I think so. Because she know, she already knows I can't fly. She's like, well, she's fake. <laughs> 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 but, but she did ask me to do the voice the other day, just out of nowhere, because she was quite sort of impassive watching the film, just sort of didn't... just sort of didn't reveal much of what she felt. And then the other day she goes, do your... She's American, of course. Sounds American. But um, she, goes, she, goes, she goes, do your Mary Poppins voice. <laughs> and I go, spit spot, and off we go. And she goes... <gasps> <laughs> oh. And it was just so sweet. And they, they quite like impersonating me in the bathtub. <laughs> well, where I, where I say to the to the dolphin, no, no, not yet, and and now the two of them go, no, not yet, like. To the <laughs> <laughs> wasn't cool at all. There was none of that. Actually, uh, I don't know your work. You were a proper fan of it. Oh, I was, I was full stalker status. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, hey, you want to go on a date with me? <laughs> no, tell um, people how many. Is this true? How many times have you seen Devil Wears Prada? I mean, not seventy-five. Give or take. <laughs> 72. <laughs> yeah. No, I, it's one of those things that back in the day, us elderly people used to channel surf. <laughs> and um, no one does that What's anymore. That? But yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, so I mean, cruel. Um, <laughs> no, it's just one of those movies that whatever, whenever you're going through the channels, you just stop and you. I mean, look. Has anyone seen the film here? Probably. Um, <laughs> you know, there's, people. People. <laughs> there's a sort of montage sequence where Annie Hathaway's got numerous fabulous outfits that they yeah. go through. And John, one day I came home and he was watching it. And, and he was watching the montage bit and he goes, um, that's my favorite outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get Annie, and so I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you're fluent in the French as well, aren't you? Absolutely not. Oh, I thought you were fluent no, in French. No, I'm not fluent. I mean, I did it at school. I did A-level French, but I'd since gone out the window. But I, I get really nervous speaking French, and I actually used to have a, a stutter when I was a kid, and it's still the way that, that I still stutter when I have to speak French. It comes out when you yeah, speak French. Yeah, it comes French, out when I try to speak French. Yeah. How weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, no. let's not... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the King's speech. <laughs> very authentic portrayal. Yeah. That yeah, was very, me. Very I was Colin yeah, Firth. But in, but in French. <laughs> but in French, yeah. We went to Paris for New Year once and... And, you know, my now husband and our two friends were like, go on, find us a taxi, cos we need to get to this place. I said, oh, God, please don't make me, please don't make me. And I hadn't had the guts to tell them, actually. I do still stutter. And they were like, go on, please. And so I went to the guy at the front desk. I was like, um, I could say everything apart from the word taxi, apparently. And so I went, um, <laughs> est-ce que je peux avoir un... <laughs> and you went, taxi? And I went, yes! And he went, taxi. He's Sam in English, Sam in French. <laughs> I, I did encourage him that he would be welcome more if he stopped wearing a baseball cap, because I just said, you look so American. <laughs> Nobody wears baseball caps. Oh, that makes it better. You look so American. Just take off the baseball no, cap. I just wanted you to blend in a That's bit. That's just so... called prejudice, is what so... it is. <laughs> <laughs> but he went out and bought himself a tweed flat cap. Mm. No, he looked awesome. Was that good? No, no, he looked like something out of a Guy Ritchie film. You look great. And he walked down the street, <laughs> and it was like the sun came out, because suddenly a guy turned to him and he went, all right? 
What? <laughs> what does that say about your country? That it's like, well, if you lose the baseball hat, get Just a flat wear cap. tweed. That's what it says. <laughs> what do you need? It's that simple, then. And was it nice? Because presumably having your children spending time here yes, was quite nice. Yes. Because are they American children? You said it kind of sneering me. Like, oh, don't. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, this is getting weirder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Put your cap on, you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. You like dry heaved. You were like, are they American? Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you given birth to? <laughs> oh God! It's worse. Baseball hat. <laughs> oh, it's, it's worse in the film. <laughs> and then an American came out of her. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they are semi-American. <laughs> <laughs> they did become um, quite. Uh, well, my oldest daughter became quite British sounding over the course of the year that I was here for Mary Poppins. And she was sort of saying things like bath and water. And now she's back to water. He <laughs> 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 grew the little human and little human popped out. We've yes. got a picture of Hazel. Oh. Oh. That, that, as a mother, that must be so nice to have 600 people go. Oh. <laughs> Is very nice, yeah. She's because sweetheart. I do that, but yeah. No, she's beautiful. She's she is really cute. Today. She's so cute. Was it the nurse that was very complimentary? Yeah, she, she, she was out? funny. We were in the recovery room afterwards, and we had this amazing nurse who came in, and she looked at Hazel and she goes, "Damn, your baby is so cute." <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I went, "Oh, really?" She went, "She is gorgeous." And I went, hey, "Mabel, I think you say that to all the mothers." And she went, "No, I don't." <laughs> <laughs> Say, when I know a baby ugly, I say, you had a baby! <laughs> 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 <And> that's it. <laughs>